Okay, so I've gone ahead and mounted the ShopMate guide block up on the uh, Yates American 30 inch bandsaw. Um, this is a Yates American snowflake uh, that was made in the late 1930s or early 1940s. Uh, this is not the bandsaw I had been working with. That's my uh, American Sawmill Machinery 30 inch bandsaw, a Monarch, uh, that was made in Hackettstown, New Jersey, about 45 miles from here. Uh, the reason I mounted the block up on this saw is because I already had this one powered up and I had recently been doing some resawing on it so, um, so it was really easy for me to uh, just remove the, uh, the guide mounting assembly off, off this saw and uh, put my, my shop made block on it. Uh, this is the, the mounting assembly off of the, um, off of the American Sawmill Machinery uh, 30 inch saw. Uh, and I wanted to do this, I wanted to put this on here because these are going to be matched up and put on the other saw together. Uh, this is a really nice uh, uh, guide mounting uh, assembly here. You've got this one bolt in the middle which you can just loosen up and slide the whole thing side to side. And then there's another big bolt on the side that you can't see here that uh, if you loosen it up you can, uh, you can basically uh, turn and uh, twist the assembly to get it exactly lined up. The, uh, the guide block is uh, mounted up good with the, uh, or aligned up good with the blade here. Uh, the, the back thrust bearing sprint, spins freely, the two side bearings spin freely. Um, the, the blade on this saw is tweaked a little bit. Uh, it's got a little twist in it because it was kept under tension for a lot of years while it was in storage. I, I imagine it was probably under tension like that for 10 or 15 years. Um, amazingly, the blade is still pretty serviceable, but it does have a, a twist in it. And uh, you'll see as I spin the wheel around that every once in a while it's going to come in contact with either the back bearing or the side bearings. So you can see it touching the side bearing there periodically, um, not touching the back bearing at this point. Um, but uh, it's, uh, as, you, as I said, you can see there's a pretty good twist in it. Um, should come up here in just a second. Let's see where we're at here. Right there, I can see the twist in the blade and uh, not sure what that's from. Looking for the weld, it's not where the weld is, so it's just a, just a twist in the blade. Anyway, we'll close this up. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a couple of passes off of, off an oak block that I have here just to see how that guide performs when I push the wood into it. Um, what should happen is if I give it a little bit of a push, I should come in contact with the back thrust bearing. Um, if everything works right here, these won't heat up or, um, or do anything else uh, unexpected. Um, but let's, let's go ahead and fire it up and see how it works. Good thing the saw's got a break on it because it'd take it forever to stop. Uh, so, as you can see from the video, uh, the, the, the guide block uh, works pretty well. Um, touching this back bearing, it's, uh, it's not even warm to the touch, it's cold. Uh, the two side bearings are also cold. This could use a little bit of adjustment because it's not quite tight enough on the blade, but, um, but you know, as I said, this, this band saw doesn't really get used much. Um, and so the, the blade could really use to be serviced and this thing could use to be set up right. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this block off here and I'm going to mount on the American Sawmill Machinery and put that one back to work. I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to resaw on that. Um, so all in all, a uh, pretty successful project. Um, if you want to read the, the article about building this guide block, uh, it can be found on uh, www.owwm.net. Uh, thanks for watching and I'm out.